Okay, so we are going to work on the Rominator. This will be part three, and hopefully this will be the last episode of the saga of getting the Rominator to operate properly. And the issue is, is it sees the Rominator, but it does not see the ROM drive. And K Koba has reached out to me, and he's given me many suggestions. So we're going to implement them, and hopefully that will resolve the issue. And he said also that, as far as he knows of, it should work just fine with the blue SCSI. However, without the blue SCSI being attached, it still does not see the ROM drive from the Rominator. So we're going to take it apart. We're going to do some things that he suggested, and then we will try it again. Now, also, he said that there are a lot of socket variations on some of the Mac Plus boards, which this one does have that. The original Mac Plus board, the socket was a little different. So we're going to shave the socket down a little bit to make sure that we can get all the pins nice and evenly down into the socket. He also told me to use some contact cleaner. He goes, sometimes because from the manufacturing process, there could be some debris on there that's causing it not to make a really good connection. So we're going to do that and then check a couple other things too. And for those that's never actually seen the Rominator board hooked up, I will explain a little bit to you before we do our little things that we're supposed to do on it. So anyway, obviously this is the low ROM. That's the high ROM. This has the 6.0.8 version of system software on it. Uh, that's the special little IC chip that does things. And of course, then everything else is all sockets. These are the jumper wires that you solder on it. And then these are the three pins that go on the Mac Plus. Uh, this one is the RW pin. And then we have pin 19 and pin 18. And that's also corresponded on the board here too. Let me just rotate this for you. And I'll try to get a good look at it for you here. But there's a R, RW, R17, R18, R19, but we cut the uh, connector off for the R17 because we do not need it on Mac Plus. On a 128 or 512, you would need that. So anyway, so we're going to take this board off. This just plugs into the socket. And what we're going to do first is we're going to disconnect the wires here. We're just going to pull those off here. Okay, so those are off. And this thing just literally just pulls off. Now we have to kind of hold down on the board here because this thing's stuck down. So let me uh, pull this thing off here. we got to be really, really careful here. So we took the uh, Rominator board off of it there. And what he wanted me to pay attention to is these little things right here. These are like little lips on the uh, ROM sockets here. And there's like a little step there. And what he said is if this would be probably enough to prevent it from making good contact working properly. Now my other Mac Plus board, the one that got damaged, I'll show you the sockets on that one and we'll compare it. So this is the uh, my original Mac Plus board, but you can see that these sockets are flat right there. They're flat. They don't have that lip. And he said that could very well be why uh, it's not working. He said everything's wired up correctly. Everything's soldered fine. It's just that this keeps it from getting contact. So again, if you look at this one here, you see that little lip right there. See, it's got a lip on it. It's not flat. So we're going to take a razor blade, cut these lips off. Clean the contacts out really good, reinsert that rominator board, and then we'll try it again. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to do most of this off camera because I'm not going to be able to get a good camera angle for you to see that. So I'll be back in just a moment. 
All right, so we got these uh, shaved down, and you can see they are nice and flat now. Uh, we did a combination of using in a uh, used a combination of the electronic snippers and an optical file, and we got them all nice and flat. I already took the canned air and blew all that stuff out. Uh, the shiny stuff is the actual part of the socket that hasn't really been touched too much, but we shaved we shaved these things down. So now that thing should sit totally flush on that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use some deox on it to blast out the contacts, and we'll actually use it on the rominator as well. All right, so we will spray some deox on here. We're just going to. Get it all nice and clean. Uh, we don't worry about uh, making a mess, but that will get in there and clean those contacts really good there. It's already starting to dry. So we'll let that do its thing. And then what we're all gonna do is we're also gonna spray the, um, the Rominator 2. We'll go ahead and hit the back side of that. I'm not worried about the ROM chips, they're fine. And we will, we're gonna just hit the contacts on here too. Bring them right here. And we will be back. Okay, so we got the board all deoxed. We went over it with alcohol. And you can see those pins look uh, nice and flat now. Those sockets there for the pins to go into. And so we are going to put this thing back together. We will put it in the Mac Plus. So what we're going to do is uh, we got this all cleaned up too, just to, to make sure. And we're going to get this all seated down. I'm going to seat this down and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we got the uh, Rominator board seated all the way down there. And I know it's really hard for you to see it, but it is all the way down. There are no gaps like I did had a little bit the last time because of those little ridges on those sockets. So it is all the way down. The center ones are all the way down too. And like I said, we clean the contacts and we clean the uh, ROM sockets. So we're gonna finish hooking the wires up to this. We will put it back into Mac Plus and we will boot it up and see what happens. Okay, so we got it all back together. We got the logic board back in it, all hooked up. And we're ready for our first power up and we'll see if that took care of the issue of this not finding the Rominator ROM drive. So we're going to uh, start it here in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, well it's good, it's still alive. We'll see if it finds the Rominator. So we're going to get that little pirate logo here. And when we do, we'll hit the R. Hey, I don't have the blue SCSI in it. Look at there, it found it, the Rominator disc. Now, I don't know what that static was there. We're gonna do this again, but all right. So it's working, yay! So it will work. Now, I guess the ultimate test is to see if it works with the uh, blue SCSI. But at least it sees this Rominator drive, so that's great. And I have not got to play with this here. And I, again, I do apologize for the weirdness going on with the screen, but we got games, we got Glider, we got all kinds of cool stuff, Space Invaders. McDraw, Stunt Copter, nice, very good. So what I wanna do is I'm going to go to the special. We're gonna shut down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the blue SCSI in it. Turn this off here. And we're gonna plug the blue SCSI in it. We will do that. All right, that's all plugged in. 
And we will try it again in five, four, three, two, one. And we're getting a nice, I'm just gonna let it uh, just do its thing there. And now it should be booting off the SCSI drive. But if everything is working properly, like Kay Koba said, we should also see the Rominator ROM drive. And I can tell it's booting off the SCSI here. All right, so we have system 7.1 and blue SCSI here. All right, so that's working like it should. So let's do one more thing here. Let's shut this down again. Shut down. And we're going to turn it off. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to hold down on the R key for the Rominator drive. Hold down on that. Okay, and we'll see if we actually boot into the Rominator. And we did, look at there. We booted right into the Rominator disk. How fast was that? And now it sees the blue SCSI drive as well. So, excellent, very good. So, thank you very much, Kay Koba. He's the guy that's uh, producing these Rominator kits. I'll put a link in the video. Now, I'm not gonna play with it right now because uh, I've got some other things going on, but I will revisit this and I'm going to um, do a, um, a video capture card on this. So that way we don't get that annoying bars going down there. I mean, the screen looks absolutely beautiful. And you notice when we turn on the second time, we didn't get that static and stuff on there. So that's good. So excellent. So I'm hoping you're watching this, uh, Mr. Koba. And uh, if you are, that's great. Uh, this is, seems to be working pretty good. I will just, uh, just, uh, let's click that, Space Invaders. And let's play. Oh, here, let's go open a game here. Run. So we get all kinds of cool stuff here. Let's do a missile command. That's more my speed there. Open. There we go. Okay. And new game. All right. Oh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh how do I fire here? Oh, because we use the mouse here. There we go. This is about my speed here. Ah, nice. I got round one good. Okay. Sweet. All right. So we're going to do it again. I have to adjust my mouse. It's a little, I have to speed it up there. Sweet. So that works. Excellent. We will, uh, quit the game here. We'll quit that. So yeah, so that's working great. Awesome. So we have been officially rominated. All right. This is a pretty slick little gadget here. So now we have done about as many upgrades to this guy that we can. Uh, we have the blue SCSI drive. We have the rominator disc on this. And let's just uh, double check something one more before we sign off here. Let's just click the uh, system 7.1. And there we go right there. It pulls that up as well. So very good. Excellent. And we can uh, go into the uh, extras here. And we can look at uh, Tic Tac. And look at that. There we go. So it's working. Sweet. Very good. We'll quit that. And we get all kinds of things. Now, nice thing about this Rominator kit 
is you can do customized startup sounds on it, which I'll have to look into that, how to do that. But yeah, you can do all kinds of neat things with that. And I just love that little pirate guy up there. I'll get a little closer there. I know it's gonna get that weird bar stuff there, but there you go. Got the little pirate dude there, ramen air disc. Got the blue SCSI, excellent. So we're running, uh, sorry for the shaky camera there. So we're running uh, system 6.0.8 on the Rominator disc. And then we have 7.1 on the blue SCSI. And that's great, awesome. I'm very happy. So anyway, guys, all right. So I'm glad we got this thing uh, fixed. It's been a long saga and an expensive one. But yeah, we are in good shape. So anyway, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. That way you get all the notifications whenever we do community chats or videos of any type. We're also on MeWe and Twitter. Check me out on there. And also I'm on Rumble and Odyssey platforms as well. You can catch my videos on there as well. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.